Scientific diving refers to the use of underwater diving techniques to collect specimens or perform research. While marine biology undergraduate programs are dominated by females, few women hold leadership positions within the marine biology and scientific diving fields. So at my master's program in biological oceanography at the university, um, we were actually way more female students than males. So I was quite surprised when a few years later I started my scientific diving course and I found myself to be only one of two females in that group. And that's a ratio that hasn't really changed in all the diving jobs I've been to later on. When Suzanne started to communicate her science and work underwater on social media, she experienced that it took her followers a while to realize that the photos and videos often taken during dives like these were actually uploaded by a female diver. This past summer, I participated in a scientific diving internship in which I was the first female candidate in a few years. While I participated in this program, most of my coworkers and supervisors were male. While there aren't many women in the field, here are a few inspiring examples of female scientific divers. According to the diving physician, Lieutenant Colonel R. Kelly Hill, while women have various physical or physiological differences from men, none of them, with the exception of pregnancy, pose any barriers to a woman's ability to dive. Here in the Red Sea Research Center, women are also using diving for their research. I use scientific diving to uh, learn more about the coral reefs in the Red Sea and learn more about what makes them healthy and what makes them degraded. I was recently involved in a project in the Coral Triangle where we were diving and assessing plastic pollution. I use diving to collect coral specimens for my research project. I use diving to explore seagrass and macroalgae in the Red Sea. I use scientific diving to study whale sharks in the Red Sea. Yes, I dive like a woman. Try to keep up.